Well, good morning. We're here with our uh, little sheds and got a bunch of projects going on. Winding up on a few of them, but uh, see, you got a boat project, another boat project, part of another boat project interior and exterior projects going on so we're gonna work on uh, moving a few things around to get it a little less disorganized some folks like it this way but we're not uh, <laughs> we're not in that group some questions about shops uh, people putting their little shops together a few things that uh, we think are pretty essential or good lighting and uh, because we're lazy, we put a little automatic motion detector to turn the lights on. Got these little lights that we bought at Lowe's that have been working good. 7,000 lumen made by Utilitech. And uh, you can turn them on and off individually with the chain. And they're also rigged up with uh, regular plugs. So you can run one to one spot where you want. And we... Uh, Paid the money to have the electrician come in and wire it up correctly to uh, run the power for it. And these these lights also have on the end of them. I don't know if it'll really show up here, but you can uh, you can link them together. There's a plug on the end, so you can plug this one in and it. I think there's some limit. I don't know if it was two or four that you could plug together. And uh, they give out great light in the shop. I'm done with the days of watching a flickering uh, fluorescent bulb that goes out every two months. So those are some of our electrical and lighting tips. Oh, one other tip. Um, we did have um, plugs pinned up over here, little quad outlets so we can plug different things in. Let's see what we've got plugged in. Chargers to a utility strip for chargers. And our shop vac stays uh, powered up. A little USB port that doesn't get used too much. And over here we did quad outlets and we had them up uh, bench height on the other side. We couldn't decide and we had them put down by the floor where you might find them inside 16 inches. And turns out we should have had them put up higher where you can reach them because I can't, I can't even see that plug right now. There's, there's a couple on this wall. I uh, can't even, can't even see them because they're buried. But if we'd have put them up here somewhere, then uh, we'd have been able to use them. So lighting, either natural lighting, which we've brought in with uh, by adding these French doors or some windows. Windows, pros and cons, uh, you get lots of lighting, lots of fun to look in and out of the shop, but you lose uh, shelf space. For shelving, uh, you can put in as much shelving as you want, but as we uh, have circled the sun a few more times, we find out that this up at about six feet, it's out of our way, and any more shelving above that involves a ladder and usually heavy objects, so. We've just kind of eliminated that. In fact, we took out the little loft that was down at the end here when we put the uh, when we put this door in. And uh, we really like these wire shelves. You can set the shelf height wherever you want. You can move them around as opposed to fixed shelving. And then back around on the other end is a loft. And you can, for us, there's there's not a ton of stuff up there I can't even tell you what's in the back maybe some little uh, scraps of uh, good marine ply got to put our little charger station up there I can reach it I don't know if uh, skipper can there's some uh, templates and some uh, jigs and frames for a couple of boats we built but one thing you can do for shop lighting if your budget's uh, small when you get started, it's just by some of these little, you see them hiding up there right behind the extension cord. The single bulb with the little uh, hood on it, 
It's got a, a clamp so you can move it around your shop anywhere you want and clamp it onto something for the spot that you're uh, working. So hopefully this is helpful for people that are either redoing their shop or thinking about putting a, a new one together. Another uh, discussion came up on tools, Ryobi, DeWalt, Bosch, Milwaukee, etc. And uh, we would have been probably lifelong Porter Cable fans. We've got a little Brad nailer and a uh, over here a little uh, cordless wet dry vac. But as they started changing batteries, the batteries weren't compatible from tool to tool. And early on, we didn't like that. So we, um, see, I think we went to Cobalt next because there was a co uh, Lowe's next to us. And then um, once I saw my contractor who built our porch in Texas using DeWalt, I start, started buying the corded DeWalt. So the preponderance of our shop right now is the yellow and black stuff uh, not because i necessarily think that they're any better than milwaukee or ryobi etc it's just because that's what was handy that's what our stores sold and had the most uh, tools available for the battery and that's where we've uh, been since then and meanwhile, I think Cobalt had the best deal on a little blower and trimmer. So a couple things you want in your shop is uh, some kind of broom or vacuum to clean it out. I know a lot of folks are going to say shop's too clean, but when you uh, don't want your stuff to burn down, then you got to pay a little bit of attention to that. Yeah. Speaking of uh, fires, every shop, uh, first thing you put in there should be one or two of these little red things. You should keep an eye on them, make sure they're still good and charged. And those are a few tips to uh, some things we've picked up through the years way we like to do it what we're planning to do is there's a, a little portable generator hidden in here somewhere gonna move it around to where it's not uh, hidden so we can uh, run it periodically to keep it in good shape and have it where we can get to it in the uh, instance where we hope we don't need it that about does it